Hello everyone, welcome to Sunday service. I'm so glad you guys could join us. At this time, can we all arise from our seat and let's recite the Apostles' Creed together? I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He sent into hell, the third day he rose again from the dead, and he ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Great job, guys. At this time, let's get into this month's Bible memory verse. So let's read it aloud all together. One, two, three. Enter his gate with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. And it's from Psalm chapter 100, verse 4. All right, guys, let's get into uh, this week's Bible memory verse part. Okay, so let's read it aloud together. One, two, three. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. And it's from Psalm chapter 100, verse 4. Great job. Let's also take this time to continue to read it aloud and try to memorize it. Okay, ready, set, go. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his gate with thanksgiving. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Psalm 100, verse 4. Alright guys, I think we were able to memorize it. Let's see if we were able to. Okay? So the first one is Enter His Gates with Thanksgiving. And it's from Psalm chapter 100, verse 4. Great job. I knew you could do it. This time, let's all rise from our seat and let's get ready for a time of body worship. So let's remember to be thankful for the Lord. I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be Great job, guys. So as you sing this song, let's remember to be thankful to our Lord. God of heaven and earth, you are amazing. You hold me up with your hand. You give me faith and I will put my hope in you alone. In you alone. Oh, 
amazing. You hold me up with your hand. You give me faith and I will put my hope in you alone. In you alone. I will put my hope in you, Lord. You alone my everything I need. My hope is in you alone, in you alone. I will put my hope in you, Lord, you alone are everything I need. My hope is in you alone, in you alone. guys let's go into a time of prayer let's bring our hands together let's close our eyes and let's pray together dear heavenly father uh, you are so amazing lord uh, we are so grateful and thankful that we can put our hope in you and lord you are true and you are faithful lord you keep your promises father um, as we listen to today's sermon lord would you help us understand your word and help us learn everything you have to teach us today we thank you and we pray all this in your son's name jesus christ we pray amen all right great job guys at this time pastor moses will come up and give us today's sermon so let's all give him a warm welcome thank you for that warm welcome uh, so glad that uh, we can meet together and worship like this let's uh, read today's passage it comes from habakkuk Chapter 2, verse 4. Back up. Chapter 2, verse 4. Let's read uh, verse 4 together. Ready, begin. See, the enemy is puffed up. His desires are not upright. But the righteous person will live by his faithfulness. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for protecting us and being our God who loves us the most. And today, as we listen to your word, help us to know about... Uh, a little bit more about how much you care for us and how you want us to go in the right path um, and that is your desire so help us to see how wonderful you are through these words in Jesus name we pray amen in our story today we see a prophet named Habakkuk everyone say Habakkuk and he is shocked because his people of Judah are sinning so much against God he's just absolutely shocked um, and so Habakkuk wanted God to punish uh, the people of Judah uh, whenever our parents punish us or whenever our teachers punish us uh, they are not trying to hurt us but they want us to go in the right direction and that's the same thing with God when God at times he punishes us it is not to hurt us but to lead us uh, closer to him. But Habakkuk was shocked to see that God would allow Judah to be punished by an even more evil people named the Babyl Babylonians. Everyone say, uh, let's say Babylon. Babylon. Uh, Babylon was 
a very evil people, very violent, um, much, much, much more sinful than Judah. So Habakkuk was shocked. Why would God, why would you use Babylon to punish Judah? Sometimes we will go through uh, difficult times in our lives and even things that we cannot understand, like something like this. Habakkuk could not understand why God would allow. Think about some difficult moments that you've had in your lives where you cannot understand why this difficult thing happened. And sometimes you ask God, why God? Even with this coronavirus situation, we think about all the things that we have lost because of coronavirus. We may ask God, why did you allow, why do you allow this to go on? Going to school, God, it's not safe. I can't freely meet my friends and family. I can't play with my friends that I used to play with all the time. When Habakkuk had these questions for God, he prayed and he asked God. And what did God do? He showed Habakkuk that God would punish the Babylonians. So don't worry about them. God will definitely punish them. He'll take care of them for their evil. But that God has a great plan for Habakkuk and Judah and his people. Habakkuk couldn't fully understand why God would allow uh, the Babylonians to um, hurt and to um, uh, and, and that God would punish Judah through the Babylonians. But uh, Habakkuk was able to start to trust more in God. Let's read this together. One, two, three. Trusting God when it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. We can't understand why God allows certain things, but we put our trust in God because we know He loves us and we know that in the end, He will make everything good. And so, although right now with the coronavirus and different things, we may be like, why is this happening to me? Why am I going through these things? But if we pray to God to, about those things and say, God, why? I believe that God will give us an answer and give us a certain peace in our hearts and say, trust me, even when you cannot understand, I have a great plan for you. I will take care of the coronavirus. I will take care of the difficult things you deal with. There is a process. But for now, keep your trust in me and um, put your trust in me because I will take care of it. So hopefully we will have that kind of faith as Habakkuk did, uh, even when it doesn't make sense. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for uh, giving us your word today. And uh, many times we go through things and, and sometimes you even punish us. Um, and with the coronavirus, we don't understand why you would allow this to happen. And there's a lot of things in life where we ask you and we ask ourselves, like, why is this happening? But through your word today, we learn that, God, you will take care of those who um, maybe hurt us. You will take care of uh, the evil people, um, but also that you have a great plan, that you, ha that you are trustworthy, that you are a loving God. So help us, even when it doesn't make sense, to put our hope in you, to put our trust in you, to live by faith, knowing that you will take care of it. You are on our side. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, everyone. Thank you for uh, joining us. And I hope throughout this week, I hope you remember it is safe for us to put our trust in God. Time for some announcement. Uh, guys, uh, if you're able to come to church, uh, please always remember to wear your mask and please speak with your parents if you're able to do so. And let's close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debt as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and power and glory forever. Amen. All right, great job, everyone. Take care. Bye.